It's my favorite outdoor and travel backpack right now. It looks really cool, is very durable, and is comfortable to lug around for hours on end. It's the Kanai Sarkina Expedition Pack, and it's what comes to mind when I hear adventure backpack. If you've seen some of my previous episodes, you would know that I have an insatiable love for backpacks, and well, bags in general. So this time around, I wanted a backpack that was reminiscent of what my character would use in adventure games, so like Uncharted and The Division. So enter the Kanai Sarkina pack. So it's Kanai if it's a Latin pr pronunciation, and it's Kani if it's English, so let's stick with Latin. So Kanai Sarkina pack. Because I wanted a backpack that was tactical but was not military looking, and it's going to be used also as a camera bag and I wanted one that doesn't look like a camera bag. So please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And let me tell you what I like and don't like about this bag and what goes into it as a travel or outdoor backpack. Kanai is a manufacturer of high quality, durable, and super sweet looking duty packs and survival or outdoor packs. Personally, I love their designs and the fact that their nomenclature and brand are inspired by ancient Rome. So I'm a big fan of that. Every pack comes in a suite of colors like black or sage green, but for this Kanai Sarkina pack, I chose this Coyote with a sage trim. It's like it's a pack right out of the adventure games that I like playing. The Sarkina also comes in a smaller explorer pack version, but I think it's being phased out because it's on closeout already. Let's go through the basic specs really quickly. The Sarkina Expedition Pack has a capacity of 34 liters and is made of tough and weather-resistant Cordura nylon fabric. It stands 19 inches tall, 12 inches wide, and 9 inches deep, and it weighs 2.7 pounds or 1.4 kilograms when empty. So now I'll empty this pack to show you what I carry in my travel or outdoor backpack, while at the same time we'll talk about the features of this bag. So first off would be right here in front is the patch field and normally I would have my name tag here. Okay, so I haven't found a tag that has the same coyote shade as the one for the Sarkina. So if you know of one, please leave it in the comments. But yeah, normally I have my name there or any of the patches that I like. I'm a big fan of the Raiders, so I could put that right here. Now let's go into the main compartment. So it's held down by these snap buckles. Don't worry, they're really tough. They're plastic, but they're really tough. Open them up and you can see out here, there is a molly field. So it's very low key so that it doesn't look too tactical. You don't, you don't look too mall ninja. And you can put anything here, an admin pouch or probably your first aid kit. But I don't like putting anything here except for these quick D-rings because it's very bulky. It's very top heavy when you look at it from the side. So I normally don't put anything here. So I also have here, um, this is an electrical tape. I got that from Garantham, but I'm planning to change this to um, gaffer's tape since I do photo and video. So inside, so you have a drawstring to secure. So first off would be my first aid kit. So this is from Survivor. Put that side. And then yeah, you should bring a towel. And my fleece jacket from Colombia, obviously. Right there. And of course the pièce de résistance would be A Peak Design camera cube, small, and inside would be my Nikon Z7. It has a really right stuff L plate with a Peak Design clutch and an FTZ adapter in a 50mm 1.4 F-mount lens, and of course Peak Design anchors. Also in this camera cube would be the XQD cards, batteries in my Think Tank pack. and an FX Lion V-mount battery. So this serves as my backup power to charge my camera or my mobile phones, everything. 
So the neat thing about this camera cube is that when I mount it on its side, like so, so imagine it's filled. So let's fill it up so that it doesn't wiggle around. Let's put that jacket right back in and then close it. I could use the side access panel of the Sorkina to get it from the side. Okay, so I can open it from here and grab it on the side. Of course, it doesn't work perfectly. It doesn't fit snugly and it's not aligned like if you would use it with a Peak Design backpack, but it works. Hey, it works. So now that it's empty, let's take a look inside the main compartment. So when you open it up, you can see that there's a lot of space and it just has this mesh organizer flap here when you open it that you could put other things like for me, I put this rain cover inside, separate it from everything, and I could access it really easily. Now let's look at the side. You have here a padded compartment where I put my iPad in. So you could also put uh, a MacBook Pro inside there, but I rarely bring my laptops when I go outdoors. And also you have a hidden compartment right here with double zippers. So these zippers actually are easy to pull. They're, they have easy traction. You won't slip. So here, this is normally what Kanai would advertise as a place for your concealed carry. But I put my, well, anything that I would like to hide. So for example, my passports, my documents, wallets, papers, I put it here. And sometimes I would also put a bladder if I needed to. Next would be this side water bottle pocket. So I would have my clean canteen right here. Okay. And just so that it doesn't move around or fall off because it's quite loose, I have a key fob from Peak Design that, let me show you, I have connected to the grab handle right here. And then which I have connected like so. So it won't fall off. Speaking of grab handles, I like the handle on top. It's very tough and you know it's robust, but I wish they had it also on the sides of the pack. Now on the opposite side, you have the small compartment secured also by a snap buckle and it's fleece lined. And I have my Wiley X here, my sunglasses. This is the aspect. So I normally put it there. I find it cool that it's there because usually bags have it here at the top and when I lie down and use my backpack as a pillow, I usually squish my, my shades. So in this way, it's more secure. But the shades are tough too, so it's really not a problem. So now let's talk about the admin pouch. It's this one right here and it's secured by snap buckles as well and with Velcro. So previous reviews have commented on this that it's overkill to have snap buckles and also velcros underneath so as you can see here i taped over mine because when i'm photographing wildlife i don't like that sound of the velcro opening so i guess it gives you that choice whether to use the buckles or the velcros but i think it's redundant to have both and inside the admin pouch are some compartments where i would probably have a, this is a phone holder for a tripod and a smaller tripod inside, pens, keys, and also an Allen tool and ball pens. But normally that's it. I don't put my phone there because it's quite risky. Anyone can just open the backpack even if it's already, it already has redundant security. I normally use a hip pack for that. So what about my tripod? So I usually bring my Peak Design Travel Tripod carbon fiber version, and it's right here underneath, secured with a case at the bottom with the snap cables. But, but if you notice, the stitching is starting to give way, and this has been with me just a few months. So it's an easy repair but I do hope that they solve this. 
But as you can see, the tripod fits snugly underneath and it's very tight. And I would probably have a paracord securing it or a carabiner so that it doesn't fall off sideways. And the reason I put it here is because I can't put it on the side bottle pocket. And I'll get to that later. I'll get to the explanation why. And then, so I have to use the case for it so that it doesn't get beat up or dirty. And then at the back would be the very, very comfortable shoulder straps. They're really soft and really cool to wear. And I've put a Peak Design capture clip and the stern and strap here also has a whistle. There you go. So survival pack through and through. Now that it's empty, let's assess the backpack. Its main strength for me would be the design. It's perfect for travel and it has a sort of neutral design. I call it the neutral design. It's great for outdoors, but also good for in the city. It doesn't look too much like an outdoor pack and it doesn't look too much like a city or go to the office pack. I also love the grab handle right here. And of course, the whistle. The whistle is my favorite. Everything you need is right here and it doesn't have those bells and whistles that you don't actually use or need. Durability would also be a strength. It's really tough. I've taken it out in the field and it has held up. But of course, I'm worried about the stitching coming off right here. But of course, that's an easy fix. But hey, Kane, please take note. The ergonomics are also a plus. The way that I've carried it for three to four hours and it was very comfortable. These shoulder straps are really, really comfortable and it's it doesn't get too hot. Also, when you're carrying it, the sternum strap also helps. Another big plus is the price, of course. At $89.99, it is a steal. And lastly would be the versatility. It's great as an outdoor pack, a duty pack, or an office pack even. So for improvements, my first request would be can I please listen? Rain covers. So I know these packs are weather resistant, but if you're using it here in the tropics where during monsoon, the rains are really, really strong, you need a rain cover. And in this case, I bought this from the Sada or Alibaba. It's really cheap and they don't have it in Coyote, but it fits very well. But of course, if Kanai would offer rain covers then I would get them so that's how it looks I mean it's not bad but of course I would want some branding on it if you know if Kane would come out with one even if they sold it separately I would definitely get them and I think this goes for all the other packs that they have next would be the side bottle pouch and as you can see right here it's very loose Let's switch to top view and I've had nightmares and bad experiences with these types of constructions where it will just come off and tear off and slowly everything will just, you know, come off. And if you put your water bottle inside, you can see it's very loose. So eventually it's going to fall off. So that's why I rig this key fob and peak design anchor sort of hack to just secure it like there. Which is also why I can't put my tripod in because it's so loose and it feels so weak that it'll just probably punch through or fall off. And um, normally I carry my tripod like this, you know, without the case. So having a, a stronger and firmer pouch here on the side would be most welcome. Lastly would be the inside of the pack. So it's both a strength. Well, it is a strength that you have so much room, so much space for all your gear. But at the same time, the organizational freak in me is, uh, is seeing this like a blank piece of paper. It's causing me some anxiety. So maybe some, you know, uh, attachment points for cubes, camera cubes, packing cubes. I mean, if Kanai would think of producing those, then that would be great. And which is why I also use a camera cube. I use packing cubes from Peak Design to sort of compartmentalize everything. So it's not just one big cavernous empty space. All things considered, this is an amazing outdoor and travel backpack. I do understand that it's not a camera bag 
And that's why I have the camera cubes and everything else to bridge that gap. And also I don't have that many demands in terms of what I use it for. So it's usually for travel and day hikes, outdoor stuff like probably airsoft and action sports or biking. So it's not the same as what I would probably demand from my expedition pack where I would be out for days on end. And also it fits that look that I've been looking for. Um, it makes me feel like neat in Uncharted and I think that's awesome. But if they do make a version two of this, uh, they should really fix this bottle pouch here and have some organizational attachment points inside. And of course, have a rain cover to secure everything out. And that is my review for the Kanai Sarkina Expedition Pack. So if you have questions and comments, you know what to do, put them in the comment section. If you have recommendations or other packs that are better suited for my requirements and also look like they're right off the Uncharted and Division 2 series, then please put them in the comments as well. I want to check them out. If you want to see more of my work, head on over to Instagram, Noel Guevara Photo. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.